Hi, Jim here. And I want to show you a short video of how to partition your hard drive. And in this case, we're, we've got a system with one C drive. And we want to make it into four. Four drives, C, D, E, and F. And to do this, we're going to use a an application named Eases Partition Manager, and it's their home edition. It's free. Free is good. And if you don't have it, uh, or have another utility to do this, go to Eases.com and download the program and install it. When you finish, you'll have the icon on your desktop to use. Now, before I do before I do it, what I want to do is just take a quick look here. And you can go to my computer, and it shows that you've got the one C drive. Also, if you've got a CD or DVD-ROM, it should be labeled D. And you might even have an extra one, you know, which would be D and E. Now, when I partition my drive, I want them to show up as the extra ones as D, E, and F. Well, I can't use D because it's already on the... DVD drive or CD drive. So what we want to do is change that, and I'm change the drive letter, assign it a different letter, and what I want to do is set, I'll set it to Q. So let's get out of that. Let's go to Start and your Control Panel and Administrative Tools, then Computer Management, Disk Management and right click on the CD-ROM drive. I'm going to change the drive letter and paths. It's now D. Let's change it. And I'm going to pick uh, just Q will be okay. Gives plenty of room between uh, C and Q to, to add other drives. Click OK. You'll get a warning, but anyway, just click Yes. And we're out of it. And let's go check now and uh, with my computer. And here we are, C drive, but now our CD drive is labeled Q. We have room to go. Now, time to partition. Start up the partition manager. And it's going to show a representation of what your C drive is like now. It's using 4 gigabytes of space for your files that are already on there, your Windows installation. And all this is empty space. Now, what we want to do is we want to shrink this down so your C drive is about, in this case I'm going to use 10 gigabytes, that'll be plenty. And that will leave all this empty space here where we can create three more, one, two, three, partitions of about 5 gigabytes each. Take us up to our 25 gigabyte size of the hard drive. And after we do this, Windows will look at those as separate hard drives. Won't know the difference. Easier to show than let's easier to show than to tell you about it. So let's just start off by right clicking on that uh, C drive, pick resize, move. Now move your cursor to the end here till you get the double arrows. Left click, hold down, and drag. Now this is going to let you set the size, which we want to be about 10 gigabytes. Doesn't have to be exact, but that's about what we want. Let up, and there it is. Click OK. And here we are now. It's showing what our C drive will look like when we finish. We've got all this unallocated space here, so let's create three more partitions. Let's create the first one. Right click. Create. And you can give it a label if you want to. I'm just going to call this one Data, and uh, which I'll be using it for that. And... Closed it too quick, and I didn't set the size of 5 gigabytes like I wanted to. So here we are. It used all the extra space we have. We don't have room for two more partitions. But it's easy enough to do. Right. You can go back and undo it. Click that, and it'll put us back to unallocated space. We can redo that one. Or you can right-click, and just like we did the C drive, resize, move, left-click it. And let's just set that down to around, <clears throat> excuse me, around 5 gigabytes. There we are. Click OK. 
And there we have it. Now we need two more. Create. Uh, I'll call this an install. Installation. And I'll be might be wanting to put some apps on it. This is just mainly for your preference here if you want to name it. Just anything you'd like. Yeah, and again, I forgot to uh, set the size. Well, let's just undo that. Here we are. Right click, create. And this time I won't mess up. I'm going to set the size to about 5 gigabytes. Click OK. And this last one, create again. And I'm going to call that temp and backup. And I won't have to worry about the size since it automatically will use what's left on the disk. Uh, if you wanted to add more partitions, you could change that. In fact, you know, just for whatever size you wanted. But I'm just going to leave it for now. Okay, we now have it pretty much looking like we want to. We've got four drives here. And Windows thinks that you've actually added three more hard drives. Just like they were physical drives, you opened up your computer case and installed. Now, just like a new drive, you can't really use them until you format them. So what we want to do is format each of these three drives. So right-click, Format, OK. Right-click, Format, OK. Right-click, man, you get a blister on your finger from all this clicking, but oh well. And OK. Now nothing has actually happened to your hard drive up till now. What we've done and what is shown here is just what we're after what we're trying to do and once it, you've got it the way you want then you click the magic apply button and it'll tell you you know how many operations it's going to go through click yes and it uh, comes up with a window here that some of uh, some of the operations you're know, going to need to reboot it won't be able to do it from windows so it's going to reboot in a kind of a safe mode and do it so anyway just click yes and it'll take over from here And we're back. Okay, let's uh, check it out here and see if uh, all the changes were made. And uh, we just start the partition manager again. Okay, I don't know what that meant. Something's locked. Maybe I did it too quick. All right, here we go. And here we are. Shows it as we partition it earlier. Let's go down and just kind of double check it here with uh, my computer. And sure enough, Windows thinks we now have four separate hard drives, even though it's just partition. And our CD drive stays Q. Anyway, that's how easy it is to partition using Eases Partition Manager. And again, you might have to do one more reboot. Uh, and in that case, yeah, sure, we'll go ahead and start, yes. But hope you enjoyed the demo, and I'll see you in the next one.